20 shooting from the field for Kyrie, four rebounds and eight assists. Let's hear from him post game with the media and Michael Grady. Hey Kyrie, uh, we, you know, when you have a game with great scores on both sides, you expect a high scoring affair. That said, though, you know, when you look at the defense, what would you attribute, you know, some of those issues to that you'd like to correct? Uh, I mean, it seems like every game we play, we're battling. Uh, just some some things that the game flow can uh, sometimes bring you, you know, whether it be some calls going your way, whether it be some high scoring quarters. They score 48 in the fourth quarter. I don't know if we're going to get many wins if we uh, allow 48 points in any quarter. So, um, you know, it's a tough night when you're giving up that many points, and it's a tough night when you, you know, you're not particularly – um, you know, doing the little things that could create some separation, uh, you know, down the stretch. We, we had that game that should have been ours. So, uh, you know, we just look at ourselves in the mirror and, and just see where we can correct um, as individuals and as a group, you know, just off, especially on the effort. You know, I, I couldn't guard a stick today. You know, those guys were just going right around me. And, you know, I was getting frustrated a little bit, but they kept attacking. And, and that's what good teams do and good scorers do. So. If you, if you could take us in the locker room, what's the communication like amongst teammates when, again, there are struggles defensively, some miscues down the stretch? There's a lot of veterans in that locker room. What's the communication like as you refocus? Well, number one is just reminding Joe Harris and, and TLC that stuff happens, and, and it's not their fault. You know, that was just a microcosm of what the game was, was like tonight. You know, we had the lead. We, we were pretty comfortable. Uh, and then down the stretch, we, we just still got to be hungry and, until the zeros on the clock. And, and as you saw, Washington was very desperate. Um, and, and we expect them to play well tonight. You know, anytime the team goes up against us, we expect them to start hitting things that, you know, it, you got to give respect, but at the same time, it's going against a good Brooklyn Nets team. Uh, so we just take this one on the chin and keep it moving. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, Kyrie, uh, 72 points in the paint that you guys gave up. Uh, you know, you're you're undersized a little bit. You lost a lot of size in, in the trade. Do you think that that's a, a persistent issue that needs to be addressed uh, somewhere going down the line in this season? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, like I said, uh, we, we have the group that we have in our locker room right now. I'm grateful to be playing every day with them. And, you know, though we'll allow the outsiders say we're undersized, we, we believe that we, we should be you know, winning every single game based upon our effort and, and based on, uh, you know, our offens offensive fire firepower. So, you know, obviously the eye test, we, <laughs> you know, we're not necessarily passing it in terms of having all the, the, the big guys in the league. But like I said, we just got to match other teams' effort. And we've been doing that lately and, you know, successful road trip. And now we get back home and play against a good Clippers team. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Kyrie. I mean, you kind of alluded to it, uh, but I mean, obviously when you're up, 18 at any point and five with 12 seconds left, you would think you would win that game. But do you think that kind of thought process crept in earlier than it should have? Like maybe you guys had it in your brain. Okay, this we've got this salted away. Well, I can't I can't speak for everybody in the group, uh, you know, particularly what they're thinking. But I could say that, you know, down the stretch, that's that's where we really really got to make our mark and we usually do and tonight like I said stuff happens and we got to take this one on the chin it's no one's fault if anything you know we individually take our own efforts where we can be better and then we move forward Malika Andrews with ESPN Kyrie are, are you one how are you assessing that last sequence um Bradley Beal hitting the three the inbound pass steal and then that three from Russell Westbrook and then secondly are you looking at that as the culprit of this loss or was it a more of a we shouldn't have been in that position and you're kind of looking at the breakdowns before that yeah like like I said it was a microcosm of the night and I, I would never put blame on anybody you know uh, not one person can can take you know, one play that could dictate the game. You know, we were we were up at, by five, and we lost the game. Um, and and that's okay. You know, like I said, stuff happens, but we cannot continue <laughs> to make a habit out of late game situations and not being, um, you know, aware of the execution we need down the stretch. So it, it's a tough one. <laughs> it's a tough one to bite on the chin because we definitely, like you said, we definitely had the lead uh, down the stretch, and, and we want to finish that strong. But it's okay. Thank you. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Kyrie, can you break down that last inbound play from your perspective when you have KD, you got TLC, and can you just describe, we'll go through what your decision-making process was on that? 
Uh, well, they doubled on KD uh, from the from the baseline side and, and the top side, and I was just trying to use my eyes and kind of my ball fake uh, to get the defense to bite. And as soon as I saw them bite a little bit, going to KD, I threw it straight to TLC, had a great chance to make a left-hand layup. Unfortunately, it didn't go down, um, but I, I like our odds in that situation. And also, you know, making that shot, they would have had to come down. They had no timeouts. Um, Could have gone either way, but but it didn't go our way tonight. And like I said, it's not TLC's fault. It's more or less a couple plays before then that I feel like we could have separated a little bit more, um, you know, in terms of getting that, getting that win.